Hey, all right. What's happening, friends? I'm going to start part one of the uh, Ultra Micro J3 Cub build. Let's see what I got here. I built it out of Great Plains 3mm Depron foam. Here's a package for it. It's 11.5 inches by 47 inches length. And it's three millimeter Depron. And you can get this from uh, GreatPlains.com. You can see right here. Here I got a package of it. If you guys order this stuff, it's like 15 bucks for two sheets that are in here. I would just go ahead and order two packs, like what I got. That way, when they ship it to you, it don't get creased or bent. They'll put it in a thicker box. Alright, now I based this J3 Cub off of the UMX J3 Cub, which I got here. And on mine, I went ahead and installed some flaps and all the other little goodies. I got lights on here and everything. And then I went ahead and ordered all the extra parts like the wing struts the motors uh, also the landing gear and of course the electronics out of the UMX Ultra Micro J3 Cub So what I'm going to start off with here, let's move some of these off to the side. Now I'm working on another one here. This is based off of uh, the little J3 Cub. You can look it up on YouTube. But this is off the same plans. I just went ahead and removed the tail. The rear of the fuselage made my own. And if you look inside, you'll see I got balsa wood. I just used some lightweight balsa wood. I went ahead and hot glued it. And that's how my floats push up through the bottom of the foam into the balsa wood. That's also how I attach the landing gear here so I can remove these floats and just push the landing gear right through there. All right, here I got my plans. We're going to start with the, the main wing. The wingspan's 26 and 3 quarter inches width now what I did here to first I'd cut the, the main wing off the plans just go ahead and cut it I already went ahead and cut out all my parts so I can make these videos a little shorter no sense in sitting there doing all these cuts they're all just straight cuts here I got my elevator, rudder, main fuselage, top rear of the main fuselage, you got the windshield, and the top of the uh, cowl. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the main wing which I cut out. I'm gonna explain to you how I do this. What I first do is I cut out, I'll tape the sheet down, tape the plans down on your 3mm Depron. And I went ahead and cut out around the whole main wing. Also score all five of these lines. 
and I mean just score down through like half of the, the three millimeter Depron and you, you can even start by doing that first just go ahead and score all five of them then cut out your main wing just like I did here which is just like that cut it out here you can see all five lines that I scored so after you score them and you cut out the main wing don't go trying to like fold this foam over or anything because it'll just crack what I do is where all five of these lines are to create the uh, airfoil shape on the top side of the wing I just take and put clear scotch tape you can see it there went ahead and clear scotch tape the whole airfoil there then you can take and flip it back over and now what I like to do to cut out like a v-notch for the the main flap of the wing you can see I cut out a quite a v-notch there for the main flap to fold back as I'll take and cut it on glass like if you lay this down on glass it's a lot harder to cut through the tape if you're cutting on glass I mean you can go ahead and v-notch both sides 45 degree on both sides of the flap and you won't end up cutting through the tape but just press kind of lightly when you are making your cut so, so that's what I did I 45 on both sides of the line to get the flap to fold back and for the first two airfoil lines you can see I cut a, a v-notch out of just one side of each line and that'll even give you that extra bend and for the last two score lines you can just run you know I got a sharp poker stick that I just ran down the line to spread it out slightly because by the time this flap starts folding back you don't really need these to be v-notched the last two lines as you can see this flap's going to fold back and you get your airfoil shape so that's the secret with this three millimeter Depron is to go ahead and clear tape anywhere you got to score it and fold it like I did the same thing with the uh, ailerons you know I just cut out a I cut an out cut out an aileron template out of another piece of three millimeter Depron went ahead and flipped my wing over set it on here and went ahead and traced it out go ahead and cut back on both sides of your aileron then I then I went and just scored both the ailerons then flip it over to the top side of the wing and then you can apply your tape your clear scotch tape and then you can go ahead and cut out the v-notch and that way the foam won't break and the piece won't pull away works really good you guys now for this wing here I, I'm, I went ahead and made this a, a clipped wing like I'm gonna make this a clipped wing cub I don't want such a wide wingspan on it so on the plans I just went ahead and cut out a few inches of the center of the plan taped the two pieces back together and then it that way I was able to make it a little shorter than the original Now once I, for my ailerons, I always go ahead and clear tape the top. This is the top of your wing. I put the clear tape, V-notched out for the aileron. Then I went ahead and applied two small 
pieces of tape inside the hinge line there. That way they, I mean they're solid, they won't come off. It works great. All right, <clears throat> on the plans here, I got a, a wing spar that you cut out of the three millimeter Depron if you want. What I like to do is I like to use the Elmer's black foam board. It adds a little more rigid, a little more strength to the wing. As you can see, what I got here, and it's only it's only one eighth inch thick. On the plans, you'll see where it says place wing spar, wing spar placement. Should be right in this area here. So let's go ahead and assemble this wing. Also, you can add flaps on the original wing. If you want to add a couple extra servos and put some flaps, you can do that. So like I said, I went ahead and cut out a, a wing spar out of some Elmer's black foam board. Now I took a ruler, and just set it on the very edge and put a few marks so you know where your wing spar is going to be. As you can see, i got two pen marks there. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this down. Make sure you're working on a nice flat surface when you're building your wings. So let's go ahead and apply the wing spar. And for the hot glue on this, I mean it's not going to take a whole lot guys. Just get enough on there. And that around there like so. So the Elmer's black foam board wing spar will add a lot more strength to this wing. And you guys can even add, put the three millimeter Depron foam wing spar and then add a carbon fiber rod if you want, but I never use the carbon fiber rods. They're, they're expensive. And I mean, if you crash, your wing's going to get all banged up and broke anyway, so what's the difference if it's in there? I mean, by the time I fold this flap over and glue all this, this wing has got plenty of strength to it. Like here's, here's the wing from the plans. I went ahead and removed the tape I had holding it. I mean, it's got just enough flex in it. You can see I installed some of my elect all my electronics in there. Now, me, I like to be able to remove my wing, so when I go camping or anything, I ain't gotta worry about breaking the, the plane. I like to put in a little box I got for this plane. And to install my battery, I just drop it in through the top. Now I usually just fold this back down, put a piece of clear scotch tape here, and it holds it just fine. So I got a quick re wing removal system there. All right, so again, we went ahead and cut out the main wing went ahead and scored all five lines to create your airfoil shape then v-notch for the flap cut out a half v-notch on the next two lines back from the flap line and then I just ran a pen down the or a sharp sharp point poker stick I got for the last two because so I barely need that to bend at that point as you can see this is going to fold back onto here like so So again, make sure you guys are working on a nice flat surface 
when you make when you fold this back you want it to be the wing be nice and even and flat Here I'm using my sure bonder. I got it set on a low because I don't want to melt the foam. And what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll start from the end here. Actually you can start, I would go ahead and just leave the ends for now. I can always go back and fill those in. But I'll start from where the, the wing spar starts. And I'll just go ahead and apply the hot glue up and down. And if you sit here and try to stick hot glue in every line, it's going to harden by the time you go to fold the flap. I'll go ahead and start that now. Just drop it in there. You can even get some up on top of the wing spar. like so. Now we can go ahead and fold this back. Just want to let that hot glue set up for a minute. Don't go trying to pick your wing up right away because you'll just knock it out of shape before that hot glue has time to dry. Make sure it's nice and even from the top. So there we got our flap hot glued back. Now where the flap meets the bottom of the wing here, I like to use a, a small little hot glue gun to go back and just hit down that edge where the flap meets the bottom of the wing. We can get a nice little bead on here without burning through the foam or anything. I even like to do like half at a time and go back and run my finger down it. come in here and lay it down. Yeah, so I always have hot two hot glue guns around. I use the bigger gun for the long runs and then the smaller guns for the smaller pieces. And the detail work. All right, so there's our main wing. Get any 
get that excess glue off there. So again, this is my little J3 cub that I'm building. It's going to be my clipped wing that I'm going to use on here. I just didn't want to waste the foam to build another wing when I'm not building another plane right now. So there's our main wing with our ailerons all cut out. And you can see it's plenty strong enough. It's got just a slight flex in there, which is good for some planes, you know. You want to have a little bit of flex in your wing. For as lightweight as these planes are, it doesn't need to be super strong. Alright, for painting, for paint on my planes, I use the uh, testers and also the, I guess I don't know how to say it right, the Tamiya. Tamiya. Like here, I got a, this is actually a testers can, but for the Micro J3 Cub I got, I, I used the Tamiya Camel Yellow. It's a TS34. It's the paint I use on my little Micro J3 Cubs. As you can see, it's a real close match. I kind of even prefer it over the, the UMX J3 Cub. This looks a little duller to me. So there we got our main wing assembled. Put that off the side. And another good thing about that paint is you can paint right over this clear tape. And it sticks on there. It won't come off. And it looks really nice. Just like on here, you can see it covers that tape nice. That paint is actually made for painting the inside of a RC car body shells. So it's actually made to paint onto plastic. Alright, now I'm going to move on move on to assembling this main fuselage. Now here you can see this is how I cut it out of the 3mm Depron. I laid my plans on the 3mm Depron. Went ahead and cut it all out. It's all just straight cuts. And what I like to use for cutting is a uh, exacto blades that way you can do nice tight radiuses and turns now if you guys don't have a, a cutting